Emma Lander has become a household name in the Missouri high school athletic scene in the past few years. With her three state basketball championships, first team all state selections in three different sports, and even athlete of the year was two, Emma Lander. It's hard to ignore the player she has become on the court. But what got my attention about Emma is what she does before each game and what really matters to her off the court. The prayer actually started in volleyball, and that was sophomore year. <clears throat> Whoever are the captains that game, they just ask after we've done introductions and stuff, they ask, hey, you know, we pray as a team before tip off. Would you guys want to join us? If you don't, that's totally fine. Like, it's just really, you know, chill. Like, they don't, feel, they don't have to feel pressure to do it. But every time they've said yes, so it's been great. Before every game, Emma gathers both teams to lead them in prayer in front of everyone right before tip-off, and it's having an impact on more than just her teammates. It's inspired some other players to do that. I know other teams who do that with, before every game now, and so it's kind of spreading, which has been the most awesome part. Um, but yeah, it's just great seeing, like, you know, it just inspiring some people to be a little more bold in their faith. And then also just when the, within our community, um, I know... I've had some um, people come up to me and just like say, hey, like you don't know how much this means, just like seeing um, like these young people like bold enough to do this. And I, I know it's renewed some people like in their faiths. And like, I know of one guy who um, started going back to church and got rededicated just because of it. And that was the coolest thing for me. Like. Like, who knew a prayer before a ball game could do that? And so it's just been amazing seeing what God can do. You know, like, it's nothing that we're doing. We're just trying to, I don't know, just use what God's given us um, to bring glory back to Him. But when He just has a vessel, He can do great things. So that's been awesome. In addition to the impact Emma continues to have on others, she also carries a perspective on life that you don't see too often in 17-year-old girls. This is Emma's team warming up for a game. And that's Emma in the black sweats, not dressed out due to a recent and more than likely season-ending knee injury. First, I asked Emma the role that sports have played in her life. I played basketball since uh, I think I was three. Basically, sports is what I've been doing my whole life. That's kind of what I, that's my social life. That's like what I do over the summer, all year round, yeah. It's senior year, you probably just tore your ACL. What, I mean, is that devastating or what's that like for you? You know what? Surprisingly not. And like I've thought about, as an athlete, I don't know, you just, sometimes you think about that. Like an ACL tear is kind of like this great like gloom and doom thing. And it's like the, a huge fear that a lot of athletes have. I know I did at least. Um, but you know, now that it actually happened, like the night it happened, I was like trying to weigh like how I felt and stuff like that. and. I just kind of had a lot of peace, actually. And, you know, I think I've realized that although sports is a huge part of my life, it's not my life. And, you know, this isn't how I pictured to New York going. Um, but I know that there's a bigger picture that I just can't see right now. And so um, what I've been praying this um, last week is just that whatever, situation is going to give God the most glory. That's what I want. It's not, I'm not entitled to it. You know, the basketball is a gift I've been given. And so I've used it and um, hopefully I've used it well, but God has bigger, better things and I don't know what's going to come from it and that's okay. I mean, playing sports is great in itself, but you know, at the end like of my life, I don't want to just say, hey, I was a great athlete, but I want to know that my legacy meant something more and um, that our team legacy meant something more than just state championships. And so I think that we can feel um, satisfied in what we've done um, using our platform um, to further God's kingdom.